Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a great day today. Today is Thursday, October the 29th, 2020. And uh, before we get into this topic, I just want to remind uh, everyone to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. I do want to thank all of my viewers and subscribers and potential subscribers for supporting my channel. And I want to say I get a lot of uh, viewers viewing my videos and following my videos. If you are a consistent viewer who follows my videos but who has not subscribed, subscribe. You know, I, I look at the analytics on my uh, YouTube and it is, it's, it's, it's indicating that I got a lot of viewers who are viewing my channel. I thank you for that. Uh, supporting my channel by following me but don't forget to hit the subscribe button so with that being said and I really do thank everybody for 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 rather you subscribe or not I thank everybody for even just taking out the time out of your life to listen to this valuable information that I'm bringing to the world uh, about these different topics so with that being said let's get down to business um the focus of this topic is going to be uh, what is an addiction tornado? Do you know what an addiction tornado is? We all know what a tornado is and we know what addiction is. But do you know what, if I bring those two words together, addiction tornado. Do you know what I mean by that when I say that? And I've done this lecture a zillion times in my career. It's one of my favorite topics. And I'm going to link a tornado that people, we know about what a tornado is, a hurricane or a tornado. We all know what that is. But what do I mean by addiction tornado? And I'm going to break it down to you. First of all, I want to share with the audience that I'm a master level clinical addiction specialist. I specialize in the field of addiction. I'm credentialed in three states, uh, the state of North Carolina, the state of Georgia, the state of Virginia. I'm an expert in the field with the credential. My speciality in addiction, I treat people for, who have alcohol addiction, drug addiction, gambling addiction. That is my speciality. So with that being said, let me share with the audience on what I mean by addiction tornado. First of all, the disease of alcoholism, drug addiction, gambling addiction is like a tornado. It tears through the life and the lives of the people you know. The disease of alcoholism, a drug addiction, a gambling addiction, we know that it don't just affect the person, the user, it has an impact on everyone around that person, close to that person, near that person, the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the niece, the nephew, the people in the neighborhood, friends, employers, co-workers, etc. It destroys everything it touches. Addiction destroys everything that it touches. Think about it this way. If you saw a tornado coming towards you, what would you do? If you saw a tornado, we all remember being in school, in elementary school, middle school, high school, and we would have those drills. So if you saw a tornado coming towards you, what would you do? The trouble with the disease of addiction is that you don't see it coming until it's too late. Now you're caught up in this cycle of addiction. Your life is spending around and around and around in a cycle of drinking, drug use, gambling, lies, manipulation. It's spinning out of control with, in, in relation to alcoholism or drug addiction. However, the user might not be aware that they still have a chance to escape addiction because it hasn't killed them yet. They may even be watching this video. If you were running to get out of a tornado, you will look for a solid 
building to escape, sort of like a tornado shelter. Similar to attaining treatment for, for, who, so for someone who has alcoholism or drug addiction, similar to attaining treatment, they will escape by going to detox, an inpatient program, a residential program, uh, individual counseling, similar to a tornado shelter. You can think, think of those different treatment facilities similar to a tornado shelter. Because a tornado shelter is going to let you escape the grips of that tornado. In a treatment facility, rather than inpatient, outpatient, detox, residential, it's going to allow the user, the alcohol user, the drug user, the gambling addict, it is going to let you escape the power of addiction until you can get your life under control. I'm here to tell you. Because this, this addiction piece is so powerful, similar to a tornado. The disease of addiction is very similar to a tornado. The debris field of negativity created by the addiction tornado, created by the user, and can include negativity, verbal abuse, physical abuse, financial destruction, legal debt, creating chaos in the home, chaos in the environment, chaos in on the job. At the eye of the tornado is the addiction, bit on destruction, bit on not completing treatment, bit on not completing school, bit on sucking any and everything into its destructive path. The family members will find themselves and when I say family members, I'm talking about the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the niece, the nephew, the grandparents, co-workers, people in the neighborhood will find themselves ducking the flying debris while the attic is powerless to stop the tornado. And I'm going to tell you why that attic cannot stop that tornado. When you look at one of my other videos, I talked about psychological dependency in relation to addiction and I talked about how psychological dependency in relation to addiction the four components of it that causes the person to influence the user to continue in feeding that addiction tornado it is four powerful components of psychological dependency that influence the person to continue with the alcohol, drug use, the gambling addiction, the lies, the manipulation. Psychological dependency is like mental obsession where it drives the person to continue feeding this addiction, feeding this addiction to an aider. And what makes psychological dependency so powerful, it has four parts. Number one, the first part of psychological dependency is preoccupation, mental obsession. That user of the alcoholic or the drug addict may have every good intention of going home, but because they also mentally assess and feed in their addiction, they may be going home, but somehow end up at the dope house or at the bar because they so mentally assess feeding that addiction. Another example of mental obsession is a person that user may be at a family event. They may be home watching a movie with family member. Physically they're there, but mentally their mind is on what the steps they got to go through to get money, to get more money, to feed the addiction, to get more drugs. Physically they may be home. Physically they, they may be at that family event, but mentally their mind is thinking about, I got to go do what I need to do to get high. That's one component of psychological dependency. A second component of psychological dependency, which makes it so powerful to drive the addiction, is state-dependent learning. What state-dependent learning is now that that person has fed their addiction so much to the point now they're using more and more of the alcohol or drugs and the gambling addiction, that now they have become accustomed to performing certain skills, duties and tasks only when alcohol or drug impaired.
They're now going to need the alcohol or drugs to get up in the morning, to get going in the morning. Because remember, the definition of state-dependent learning, the person now is going to become dependent on being impaired to get going, to get function, to get moving around in the morning, to complete the task. If they even got a job by this point, don't think they're going to work, work 8, 9, or 10 hours without sneaking in the bathroom to go drink or get high. State-dependent learning is when the person becomes accustomed to performing certain skills, the essential functions of the job, in order to make it to the day. And what that does is feed that, or that addiction tornado. So that's the second component of psychological dependency that makes is that's a powerful driving force to, uh, to cause the user to feed that addiction. The third component of psychological dependency is, uh, is uh, the relationship with the alcohol or drugs. They have no longer now, they have destroyed healthy relationships with family, friends, and loved ones. Now they have developed a relationship with the primary drug of choice. They're going to do things to conceal the severity of their addiction from loved ones. So the third component of psychological dependency is the relationship with the primary drug. The user has to develop a relationship with the alcohol, the relationship with the drug, the relationship with the gambling addiction. And the fourth component of psychological dependency that ties into feeding that addiction tornado is psychological defenses. And what happens is when friends and loved ones begin, they begin to observe the person addiction out of control, observing their missed days at work, observing certain behaviors because they really do want to see the person get help, they may approach the person and say, I'm concerned with your drug use, I'm concerned with your alcohol use, your gambling, your missed days at work. And what the user would do is they would be, be respond in a defensive manner because inside of them they know what they're hearing is true, but psychological defenses is designed to trick the user. Inside of them, they know what the family member is saying is true, but the psychological defenses think of it as a powerful shield to keep me from hearing the truth. So that is one of the reasons, the primary reason, the driving force why the user or the addict or the gambler is powerless. They have powerless towards this addiction because of the power of psychological dependency that encourage the person to continue the madness and feed the addiction. Because understand, the alcoholic or the drug addict or the gambling addict, they are the creator of the addiction tornado. I'm here to tell you. They are the creator of the addiction tornado. So that's what I mean by that is his description of what is an addiction tornado when you link a tornado with the, the with the alcoholic or drug addict in substance abuse now you got addiction tornado and ladies and gentlemen i'm here to tell you the d disease of addiction the disease of alcoholism the disease of gambling when it touched down it, i'm here to tell you it would destroy everything in its path i'm here to tell you it will have an impact on the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the niece, the nephews, the neighbors, the co-worker. It would destroy everything in its path, similar to a tornado. It would destroy everything into its path. So I'm here to tell you that pass this information along as an addiction expert. I'm here to tell you. If you know someone who's struggling with the disease of addiction, alcoholism, a gambling addiction, get them the help that I know that they need. And with that being said, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit my subscribe button because I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring it to you straight. I'm going to put it in everyday language so you can understand and pass this information along. I've been in this field for over 20 years and I'm here to tell you it would destroy everything into its path. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, button, and have a good evening. Simple Fidelis, simplify. See you next time.